what is up special edition of how ghetto is this rooftop this besides is taking a look around here we're gonna take a look at that uh -huh. old abandoned building right there My daughter's pointing out that uh yeah this thing was dead but it'll charge it'll charge from that so i got some uh <laughs> malfunctions to get over got to get that phone to boot up also i think i noticed what's wrong with this thing i noticed that this thing hangs in off a of rubber I don't know if we can get a good view in there, but this hangs in there. And it's kind of uh, hanging to where this is touching right there. So I don't know if when I crashed it, if it stretched the rubber up here. But if that's what it did, I could probably take this apart and fix it. As you guys know, when I've uh, been filming, it's been getting a little stuck. Well, look how that's kind of sitting right against that plastic right there. And I know it's not as bad when it's up here, but it's still real close to touching. When I turn it by hand, it hits sometimes. So that's why I'm getting that little jerky motions and whatnot. Looks like I'll probably get my little screwdriver to probably pop the top off of this. When I get a chance, it's so daring, and see if I can fix it. So it says 0%. It should be charging. Well, is this on? This thing turned off because, uh, oh. Anyway, we'll get it going here. I'm going to get some uh, buildings around here, but we're going to focus on that. Okay, let's try this. I had to switch phones because that one was too dead. Take off. Take off. Take off. The home point the home has been, point updated. been updated. Please check, Please it, on the check map. it on the map. Is that doing that the truck? Yeah. All right, guys. Let's see here. It's a little higher here. Look at this old place, man. place looks like it's been burnt to a crisp. It looks like they got it just pretty much fenced all the way around and nobody's really doing anything over here at this property anymore. What this place was. It looks like a big stack right there, though. Nice. what this place was some sort of old industrial building probably some place that was thriving back in the day but it's been a long time if, you, if anybody did get in there obviously you can see there's a bunch of holes in the floor up on the second, third floor there. So you probably get pretty jacked up messing around in there. Looks like there's just a bunch of, there's some cars, mostly old vehicles kind of left parked in there in the property. Interesting industrial area right here with all the just looks like a bunch of junk from this view. Alright. Of course there ain't gonna be any AC equipment to look at. Let's see. Have a 
bunch of evap coolers on that building over there. Nothing much to look at. So let's go over to the shopping center. Get this up a little faster here. This isn't going to be that good. Well, it's just an old, interesting building, so it's not really a, as much of a ghetto a rooftop, you know, as it is just an interesting one. See, my gimbal's just a little crooked again. Not too much, though. All right, so, whatever that building is right there, it does not have much for anything on the roof. And then we got just some typical package units over here. Ah, oh, here come the text messages. We've got a bunch of typical carrier units right there. Big one right there. And that's not a carrier. You don't need to read the messages. Just leave it. I don't want it to do it. It's got the, uh, again, it's got the, uh, so it might be like a Lennox again. <laughs> of course, a lot easier to tell. Post edit on the big screen. But it's got the uh, economizer on the wrong side for carrier. So that is probably another Lennox. There you go. Post up on screen what I think it is. See, I can recognize some train precedent units right there. A couple carriers mixed in. That looks like a York or something right there. This is a I think over in the corners, a couple different businesses ranging from a Domino's Pizza or something like that to some other stuff. gas station over here. Probably nothing spectacular there. Some uh, ghetto used car lots. Right there, drive time, which is used to be like Ugly Duckling and I forget what else. They keep changing the names after they get bad raps and then uh, you know, people forget. Some lot. It's got just some regular package units on it. Actually, it looks like there might be a little pigeon haven right there. Nice. Looks like some abandoned coolers or something right there. Some four-sided ones. Eight-panel four-sided coolers, it looks like. If I'm looking at that right, got some package units over there. More little buy here, pay here, ghetto car lots. Yeah. Pretty normal array right here. Some of these used to be, might have used to been regular car lots like back in the day. Carrier units, mostly. Oh, I see a carrier unit. And the fan staggered. Might be having a hodgepodge of brands over here too. That's not. What is that? Is that old old train? Okay. And it, okay, train was there originally, probably, and then that carrier unit in the corner is newer. Actually, that one to the left. Man, that's like not the normal spot. That's not train. Train doesn't. It's backwards. Not train. Train cadenza coils are on the right. So what is that? You don't have to update a little later, probably. I can see on the big screen. But, uh, looks like a old ICP high of the pile right there. Yeah. Yeah, 
Oh, that exposed supply duct, that probably works really good. Of course, that looks like an EVAP cooler, so that ain't going to be such a big deal. They got the ACs back there, all exposed supply ducts on that, though. Oh, man, that system probably very efficient. I mean, it's foamed and everything, but still. And it's on a re glorified residential unit, so. Yeah, I've got a couple of those units up there. That's probably operating real choice-like. How far down the street I'll get before I start getting intermittent connection. The other shop is probably EVAP coolers on this place, it looks like. This is kind of like a shopping center, like a thrift store. bunch of package units in the back and nothing up front so I don't know how they're doing it there maybe there's a big ass chiller in the back or something but I doubt it oh, those are actually big condensers like uh, those are, are those Odysseys some low temp stuff it looks like oh, those, the sun shining right in my eyes now we're all parked look like this update again on the screen but from here it almost looks like it might be train odysseys but it might be uh, something else but each one of those could be easily 10 tons if not a little more so that could be they could be 15 tonners or whatever and some more over there there another little business no, the size of the roofs you know there's not all that many units but it's just because those are condensers and the air handlers inside actually let's see what that is it might be some old or something what is that huh is something just up on a goofy ass curb shape. It's not, a, it's not an old train. Is it? No. Nope. This wouldn't have the louvers, it would have the louvers on the bottom. That's how weird. Oh, do not break that some bitch. What is that? I gotta be careful because I'm getting a little hiccup in my connection. Might have some lag with stopping this thing. I'm not sure what that is. Is that a freaking flue pipe? No. No. Is it? Is that gas? If two flue pipes? <laughs> Might be an interesting unit. Into that V-coil, whatever on top. Weird old freaking package unit, it looks like. Dang. Like the compressor section on top or something? Or the condensers, at least? It's got a panel that comes off right there. What do you guys think that is? Man. Some old shit. That could be the still image. I don't know. All right, we're probably about to the limits of how far I should go. We just got some more car lots and gas stations. I thought when it was down here, I thought I drove by something that looked like it was probably kind of ghetto. This roof, this roof. Of course, we might be a little weak for coming in on it. Uh, it looked like it was probably kind of ghetto. Let's see what's up there. Right. Old cult church there. It's not too bad. I, mean, I know I saw some weird abandoned, like low temp or something. It looked like, at least from the road, it looked that way. It's not as bad. As it looked earlier. Oh, all right, I'm really breaking up. Jack in a crack. It's all the crack whores and the derelicts hang out. Get to out, Dad. Yeah, we're 
we're coming back. Got some units stashed down in that pit. Man, might be having a little air recirculation down there. <laughs> there's, no, there's no vents like in the sides or anything. Huh. What kind of place is that? Real choice. Some packages. Should be getting kind of back to where we ended off when we were going past that old building right there. Where this place is, must have units on the ground. So, regardless, I guess that it couldn't be a ghetto rooftop now, could it? Package units. It's our battery, 29%. Okay, we're doing pretty good. Yeah, let's do another flyover. I don't see anything special on those roofs over there. Let's go back over this again. Yeah. Looks like that does that. I think we already looked at this stuff here. Eh, some junkers up there. Real choice. Yeah. Evap cooler. Glorified residential carrier with some exposed duck. Yeah. Might be a train down there with the control panels faced. To, nope. Not a train. Man. What is that? birds seem to be liking it. It's a train, the control panel's on the back, and uh, it's backwards. <laughs> we'll tell from the big screen. But I can see there's a louver to the right. It's got some vents in it or something. Huh. Is that a, a Heil, is it? Go to see a little better later. So, anyway, with that, guys, with that, we'll catch you guys later. I know you're not falling asleep, child, but with that, what do you have to say to everybody? Make sure you like and subscribe. That's right. Make sure you recline that seat back forward. Later.